So we basically know that Dark World they won um, the YCS 100, and I kind of saw it coming sometime, but I didn't know it was it was like this time because they have been in the top before a lot. Um, obviously, we had we had the Trans Archfiend coming out, and there was one in the top 16 who didn't play two guides. Uh, played free trans arch fiend instead and um there were a couple of others which i don't remember quite right now but um basically i think there are a few reasons why he won um one of his main tech cards was malefic starter string uh, basically protects your gate from being destroyed and since Almost all traps are chainable. Anyways, um, there's quite no fear for MST at all. He was obviously playing two tour guides, but that is mainly to get out bro, just to to get the f get the deck flowing and stuff like that. He was playing one skill drain only, just to in case it happens that he could stop some monsters. It was. It was there, um, basically doesn't do anything against the Dark World since he wasn't playing Fabled Ravens or anything. Um, don't know, it's kind of gone out of out of the, the Dark World game, um, the Fabled Raven. I still like it, but I'm, I'm running it in a totally different way. If I would run um, the Fabled Raven, I would run Shiruli and Gold and Silver. Um, which I have a troll build with. It actually works quite well, but <laughs> that's another thing. Um, and he also was siding the Morphing Jar just because um, of effect veilers and uh, maxis and stuff like that because, well, Morphing Jar gets flipped and you dump like Beige and Snow and Bro and Greffa or whatever. Um, and then your opponent is uh, is likely gonna chain with a max C and get a few pluses off of that one. Um, the spells um, we did see the one who topped top sixteen. Um, he only ran one card destruction, free dark world dealings, free gate, and free drag down. I don't have them here. I traded them actually. So um, he ran those ten. Um, spells only uh, but this guy um, Balan he um, Michael Balan he um, he actually ran, uh, ran everything free gates free dealings card destruction much reborn Elor Darkhold Heavy Storm Book of Moon Foolish Burial and of course free drag down so um, has basically all the staple spells and it helped a lot for him uh, especially the foolish burial uh, made him well maybe it made him win the or helped him to win the the, the last round um versus the dino rabbit player um then obviously to the traps we got the st one starlight world which i think it's kind of good um i also main one in my in my other decks because just an off chance, which happens a lot of times, basically now because of torrential tribute and um, and since you you kind of set all your hand before activating uh, drag down, you are pretty vulnerable to heavy storm, and people might not expect start road that much. So I think it's pretty great. Um, also, when discarding. Um, beige and and other stuff other cards and you easily get to to overcommit a lot um to the field basically because uh, malefic stars dragon is is essentially um instant monster out on the field if you then summon anything else they might just try to attribute it all so um starter road comes in in handy and i thought I really liked it. I don't know if you got to play it that much. Next up, we got Double Mind Control. Uh, Mind Crush, sorry. <laughs> double Mind Control. <laughs> yeah, uh, Double Mind Crush, um, which I also 
like really much just for keeping that control um and obviously obviously deck Devi and uh but yeah oh yeah um two other things uh, which made him win is he, he made the deck as fast as possible not playing duality which has been seen a lot um instead he was playing triple reckless greed um he got a lot of pluses out of this just because he he um drew a card activated it so he would have three cards on one draw face um and basically most of the times he drew into another one either with drag down or um, or dark will dealings or gates um or these so he had so much draw power he ended up drawing these all the time um which i like very really much um i didn't know it was so powerful but um it was and some other tech he had was two upstart goblins um basically these were these five cards are replacements for pot of dualities um but without a, a real big cost at all because well whenever you get a graph out on your field you might chunk all that hp down anyways which which the upstart goblins give so um but yeah um I think I'm yeah I'm gonna have a, a deck list posted um, down below from Pojo. Um, go check it out and some discussions there and stuff like that. Apparently they didn't have time for making um, uh, deck profiles of it since yeah it was something with time ran out. Um, obviously the staff had a lot of stuff to do so. But yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe and comment below. What do you think about it? Do they deserve to win? <laughs>